Like I said, you're the first person we're interviewing. So my name is Ginger. Well, everyone calls me Ginger because I have red hair and that's your name if you are English. <laughs> I come from the UK, but I've been living in this country for about 25 years. I found you because I actually went on the hashtag mammogram on Instagram and I was just going through some posts and I know it's a, it's not something that is usually talked about. So I didn't expect to see a lot of content, but I did see your photo. So if you don't mind, I was thinking of inserting yeah. a photo of it. Okay, awesome. Hello, here I am reminding you to book your mammograms, ladies. Traditionally, radiologists were taught to really compress the boob and it hurt sometimes a lot. But good news, now they've learned not to compress too much. So the experience is not nearly as arduous as it used to be. So please get on the case and get it done. And I really like that because I feel like that's a huge question right off the bat. It does it hurt. Yeah, I think, you know, recently, up until recently, I kind of was surprised by how much it hurt and how uncomfortable it was. But whenever it was I made that post like a month ago it was I barely even noticed the um the person who was are they called a radiologist she just explained that she was kind of new fresher out of college and she just explained that they've been taught this whole different way of doing it so it really wasn't even remotely uncomfortable it was okay easy do you mind and any question I ask you don't have to answer anything that you don't feel comfortable but was that your first and are you comparing this experience to a prior experience or are you comparing it just to kind of like what you've heard about it good question uh no this was probably my fifth mammogram no maybe maybe even oh. more than that okay. um, my mother actually died of breast cancer only 60 wow. so really important to me um but I'm really bad at getting to the doctor I mean honestly as we as we all are right I just I can't stand making even making the phone call to get the appointment I just put it off as long as I can um and so with this mammograms, I'm much more on the case and I always book the next year in advance and then you can always change it when you get closer but at least yeah. you have it on the schedule we know mammograms are a big deal and i think for some women it's the fear like you said it's the fear of calling to make the appointment it's the fear of showing up and i it's just the fear of the whole experience in general and you said once you were done you were like whoa that's it um that's it was all. so it was so easy and i just you know I'm so excited and every year when I have a mammogram, I post a selfie reminding everyone in my area who know me that it's time to get it done. You know, it's just too important. It, you just don't mess around with that kind of thing. Get on with it. You know, I don't worry. I know I understand that in the medical world, they need to be thorough and they can't just leave you dangling without explaining that they're investigating things further. Um, but I wouldn't worry about, I'm not the sort of person who would worry about it until I absolutely have to worry. I love that. I like that mindset on it because you and also to know sooner is the best thing you can do. Yes, definitely. I totally agree with that because I think a lot of people fear the waiting period after. And can I ask how long did, was that waiting period? Oh, I think it was maybe a, a week. It wasn't long. I mean, no, no, you know what? They called me the next day and said everything was fine. And then I had a letter in the mail a week later. Oh, okay, nice. So you yeah. you basically found out right away. So was there any rules before you went? I was kind yeah, of- on, No deodorant. And no oh, no water. deodorant. Pause and read this for more information brought to you by breastcancer.org. Because, you know, oh. they kind of have you in a strange machine that kind of goes up here and you push your face against something, that sounds uncomfortable, but it's all cushioned. So it's not even, it's kind of like, if I'd been slightly tired, I might've taken a nap. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think it's like the proximate, and they wipe everything down and clean it properly. Um, all these machines are intimidating. They do look big, but it's only the part, one part of it that comes to you, that is fit, fit to your height and your size so that they can get the right angle. Oh, okay. I'll tell Hi. you a funny story. I am a photographer, a professional photographer. Okay, I did see that on your Instagram. Yeah. I love the photos, by the way. Thank you. Um, my first mammogram was with one of my previous clients. And she said to me, oh my goodness, I, you photographed me. Now I get to photograph you. And I was like, oh, great. <laughs> 
except I'm topless. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That is so really awesome. Funny. Yeah. Is it every time that you go, you stick with the same person or is it always someone different? It's actually always been someone different. All the other mammograms I've had up until this year, they were a little bit kind of, I, w- I wouldn't say painful, but uncomfortable. And then this year, I just was so stunned that it was so um, gentle and not a big deal at all. You know, I couldn't believe it when it was over. I was like, oh, that was it. Okay. Wow. Could Do you think, was it a new place? No, but it was a radiologist who had just graduated, I think, within the last year. Okay, so you think this new maybe education that they're receiving is different from prior yeah. years? Yeah. In prior years, I've literally had the radiologist grab my boob and hoik it around, like pull it and stuff oh, it into the machine. And I'm like, um, that's my skin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like, be gentle. And then they look at you and they say, well, they did. They said, uh, this is just the way we have to do it. We've got to get a good good image here. I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to complain, but really. <laughs> yeah. Things that I don't like to do, I just get on with it because yeah. if I procrastinate on doing the thing I don't want to do, it makes it worse. So oh, it I- really does. It. That's good to know. I think that'll be reassuring for a lot of people to hear. One of the things I think is difficult for people is... Um, the thought of being naked or semi-naked in a room with a stranger. It's a little bit odd. It is odd, but you do have a robe. Your bottom half is clothed and then you have a hospital gown on top, which is open at the front. So they just expose one part of what well, your okay. right boob or your left boob, and then they cover you and they do the other boob. So you do feel like you have, like your arm is still in the sleeve, I think. Um, so you're not completely standing there topless. <laughs> yeah. I think that, yeah, that's very reassuring because even when I go to just do those, um, my like yearly doctor checkups. I'm, I'm sorry, like, but the women's doctor checkup is so much worse than a mammogram. Oh, I love to hear that. Okay. Oh because God. I was going to say fact that we do that is just, you know, anything else is fine. <laughs> that is so reassuring to hear because ever since I was young, leading up until this very day, I dread that yearly appointment just because I hate, I don't know, it's just so uncomfortable. And I think yeah. us yeah. putting ourselves through that, it, it doesn't seem, I mean, it's, it goes by so fast, but just the mental energy leading up to the appointment. Absolutely. and But you know it's necessary, so you get on with it. Yeah, so overall, your experience, you seem to have a pretty positive experience about the whole thing. And judging just by your post and how you are very active about letting people know that it's time. Um, Any advice you would give to someone that is Um, thinking about getting it or maybe it's time and they're just a little bit nervous? Right. Um, Take a friend with you and, um, you know, maybe make it into a celebration of taking taking care of yourself. Like there's all this hype about self-care, like bubble baths and, you know, cocktails or whatever it is, but why not make it be about something like really taking care of yourself, making sure that you're healthy is so important. And it doesn't have to be a big scary thing because it's not that big a deal. And then go out for your favorite meal afterwards or go out for an ice cream or a cocktail, whatever it is, you know? I really love that, yeah. It was so straightforward and easy and over in just a few minutes. It just wasn't a big deal. That is what a lot of people, I'm gonna turn my camera back on, um, it, what a lot of people need to hear. I really appreciate you for coming on this call and being so open. And I think for if my it first- makes one person listen and go and get their mammogram, then isn't that great? Like that makes a difference. And I think just to spread the message as much as we can. Because of COVID, I missed two years because I just forgot because I was like, I was really strict in our family about it. So anyway, that's that's just the way it goes. Yeah, especially now because time is like, what's time? It's been three years. I'm like, thank you so much for talking to me and I'll send you everything that we make with you. And thank you. Great to meet you, Caitlin. Yeah, it was great to meet you, Ginger. Nice have a good day. Have a good weekend. Yeah, have a good weekend. <laughs> Happy Friday. <laughs> Bye. Bye.